It's often overlooked that before the Galaxy Note 7 began burning up Samsung's reputation, the company had released one of the year's best devices in the Galaxy S7. With the S8 and S8 Plus, Samsung has reminded us why they are one of the most popular smartphone brands to begin with. Samsung is really hammering home the device's new Infinity Display. The bezel-less display continues the trend of the popular S7 Edge devices, but with a much subtler curve that makes it way easier to use. It's also a thinner phone, but it doesn't feel any more fragile, which you might think it would with the Edge design. It felt comfortable and durable in my hand, and it maintains the IP68 certification of the S7 while also adding Gorilla Glass 5 to the back of the device. Similar to the LG G6, the front side of the S8 is almost entirely screen. The regular S8 has a 5.8 inch screen, while the S8 Plus has the slightly larger 6.2 inch screen. It's obvious that the S8 has a much larger screen than its predecessor, but it doesn't make the phone much bigger to do it. And with a larger screen comes a larger aspect ratio. The S8 boasts an aspect ratio of 18.5 to 9 rather than the traditional 16 to 9. And the display is AMOLED like most Samsung phones with a resolution of 2960 by 1440. It's also HDR certified, but apps like Netflix have yet to be updated, so our footage really doesn't give that capability justice. Camera-wise, there isn't too much to talk about. It uses the same dual pixel tech as the S7 with a single 12 megapixel sensor on the rear camera. The front camera has been up to 8 megapixels, but other than the new features that mimic the Instagram or Snapchat experience, there isn't too much to rave about. Chipset wise, the S8 is the first smartphone to use the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 that's built using the 10 nanometer production process that will ideally allow for more battery life. The base internal storage is now 64 gigabytes with support for 256 gigabyte micro SD cards. With its battery life, Samsung obviously isn't taking any risks, opting to stick with what has been working for them so far. With the S8, Samsung is introducing its own digital assistant, Bixby. However, as of now it only supports Samsung apps, but if you're really craving the digital assistant experience, the S8 also comes loaded with Android 7.0 and Google Assistant. Lastly, I have to talk about DeX, the S8's desktop support. By docking the phone through a USB-C port inside the DeX cradle, you can now use your S8 like you would a desktop computer on any monitor. It looks and feels very similar to Windows 10, and I was incredibly impressed with what I saw. Apps are resizable, and you can have multiple open at any time. This will be a great feature for business users. Ultimately, Samsung didn't take a step back with the S8. Even with just a short preview of the device, the S8 already stands out, as the possible best phone of 2017.